All right, this is the end of chapter 10, which talks about changes in chromosome number and structure. As you recall from uh, our mitosis lecture, there is that checkpoint at the end of metaphase, which ensures that the chromosomes are all lined up properly. Well, we also have this uh, similar event occurring during meiosis, because we need to make sure that the chromosomes, when it comes to anaphase, do separate and go into the correct cells. When there is a problem there, when the, the uh, organism's cells do not separate the chromosomes properly, either during anaphase one or anaphase two, and you get more chromosomes in one cell and less chromosomes in another cell, that is uh, uh, called non-disjunction. And basically there are two types of non-disjunction uh, primary non-disjunction occurs during meiosis 1, and then secondary non-disjunction occurs during meiosis 2, so the second phase of meiosis. And what happens is uh, the cell, instead of being euploidy, which then is having the correct number of chromosomes in a species, it becomes aneuploidy. And when you have that change in the chromosome number, resulting in non-disjunction, you could have a, a monosomy, which is an uh, individual that has only one particular type of chromosome, or you could have a trisomy, which occurs when an individual has three of a particular type of chromosome. And sometimes cells could have more chromosomes than that. So if non-disjunction occurs, then you no not longer have that uh, euploidy cell, you're going to have an aneuploidy cell, and basically just putting that A in front of the word there means it's not normal. And what that results in are some genetic disorders. So often uh, people that have uh, an aneuploidy cells, uh, or, uh, organisms or humans that have a trisomy, that extra chromosome, can live um, even though they'll have some complications. But usually if you have a non-disjunction that results in a, in a monosomy, uh, situation that person would end up dying. So in this little section before we get into actual Mendelian genetics which is chapter 11 we're going to talk about some of these uh, chromosomal abnormalities. So here you can see that cells um, are being uh, photographed by the scientist there. He is looking at a cell squash and he then would arrange the chromosomes by homologous pairs. You have already done that in class. That would be known as a karyotype. And if you look here is what a normal karyotype looks like for a human. These are the uh, homologous chromosome pairs. You can see pairs 1 through 22. These would be your autosomal chromosomes. And then pair 23, which is right here, the X and the Y, that would be your uh, sex chromosomes. And having an X chromosome and a Y chromosome would indicate that the chromosome squash here, this karyotype, re re would represent that of a, a male human. So non-disjunction does change the chromosome number. And here you can see non-disjunction occurring here, where in the meiosis, one, the homologous chromosomes do not separate as they should, and you have a, a result in no chromosomes in this cell here, and you have an uh, extra one over here. And when that occurs, uh, you could also see it over here where a meiosis one, the homologous chromosome pairs both go over here, and in, over here in these other two daughter cells, you have no chromosomes. So what that results in, if you look at this karyotype, if you study it, you do see a difference here. Um, you have an extra set of chromosomes here at spot 21. So autosomal chromosome spot 21 has, instead of two homologous pairs, you have three. That would be a situation where you have trisomy. And this is also called trisomy 21, which is uh, Down syndrome. And if you look at Down syndrome or the GART gene, um, here is a typical uh, Down syndrome type looking person. Uh, Down syndrome itself, trisomy 21, persons with Down syndrome have the extra chromosomes. Uh, common characteristics of the syndrome include wide, rounded face, and a fold on the upper eyelids. Uh, you do have some mental disabilities along with an enlarged tongue, which makes it difficult for the person with Down syndrome to speak distinctly. 
an individual with Down syndrome sh shows those three copies. And uh, uh, research is now using techniques to discover which genes on the chromosome are causing uh, these Down syndrome uh, disabilities. So there you can see the extra chromosome right there on spot 21. So this is a type of, of method that you could use during pregnancy to test your fetal cells. This is called amniocentesis and basically long needles used to withdraw uh, cells uh, from the amniotic sac and you could examine those fetal cells for uh, particular genetic disorders. The other type is called chronic villi sampling and here you use a suction tube and put it in and, and suck out some of the fluid where the placenta would develop. So that would be chronic villi sampling and that too could be used to test for some genetic disorders during pregnancy. Um, here again is uh, uh, individual. If you look at this very carefully, this karyotype, you see that this individual is missing a sex chromosome. Um, this person here has an X chromosome and does not have the, the other uh, chromosome at all. This is called Turner syndrome. And basically what's going on here with Turner syndrome is from birth, an XO individual with Turner syndrome has only one sex chromosome, which is the X chromosome. And that absence of the second chromosome results in females that are short and have a broad chest with widely spaced nipples. Uh, individuals also have uh, low posterior hairlines and neck webbing. The ovaries, oviducts, and uterus are very small and underdeveloped. Uh, a female with Turner syndrome basically uh, will not undergo puberty or menstruate and their breasts do not develop. However, some have given birth following in vitro fertilization using donor eggs. Uh, here, if you look, here you have an extra X chromosome for the sex chromosome and an extra X chromosome for males. This is called Kleinfelter syndrome and Kleinfelter syndrome has two or more X chromosomes in addition to that Y chromosome and that extra X chromosome becomes a, uh, a bar body and basically bar bodies named after uh, Murray Barr uh, basically, they provide a natural method for a gene dosage compensation of the sex chromosomes and it gives you that extra chromosome there. So uh, a male with this extra X chromosome having a result in Kleinfelter syndrome, which happens at about 1 in 500 to 1,000 males, basically involves uh, symptoms which include the testes and the prostate gland become underdeveloped, uh, there is no facial hair, and there may be some breast development. Affected, affected individuals have large hands and feet and very long arms and legs. They're usually slow to learn but not mentally retarded unless they inherit more than two X chromosomes. So no matter how many X chromosomes there are, an individual with a Y chromosome is still male. While males with Kleinfelter syndrome exhibit no other major health abnormalities, there is an increased risk of some disorders, including breast cancer, osteoporosis, lupus, and, uh, disp and uh, which also disproportionately affect the, the female. Next would be trisomy 18, which is uh, Edwards disease or Edwards syndrome. And basically uh, in Edwards syndrome, here you can see the, the extra chromosomes here. Uh, it's failure to grow and gain weight and expected rate of uh, severe feeding difficulties, diminished muscle tone, and episodes in which there are a uh, temporary sensation of spontaneous breathing, development delays, and intellectually disability. Uh, basically a prominent back portion of the head, low set malformed ears, an abnormally small jaw, a small mouth and upturned nose, narrow eyelids, widely spaced eyes, drooping of the upper eyelids. So that would be Edwards syndrome. Uh, trisomy 13, uh, Patau syndrome, of all babies born with the extra copy of chromosome 13, 
in all cells of their body. Around 50% will die in the first month and the rest within the first year. The median survival age for children with this syndrome is about 2.5 days. So there are uh, distinct types of chromosome mutations. Here they are. There is a deletion in, in figure A uh, where you can see that the uh, top portion of the chromosome was deleted, so you lose that A there. Here you have a duplication where from chromosome 1 to 2 uh, you have that extra D, E, D, E. Uh, you have an inversion where the C and D are being flipped in, in figure 3. And in figure D, you have that translocation, and that's the movement of a chromosome segment from one chromosome to another of a non-homologous chromosome. So this would occur between two non-homologous chromosomes where you swap uh, genetic pieces. And here you can see them, them again. So there's the inversion, and then just remember that this is non-homologous. So basically what happens, uh, here you can see the homologous chromosomes and you see that uh, the, the region of crossing over, you get that duplication and deletion in both. So deletion mutation, uh, this would be key of, of Williams syndrome. And if you look at these kids, uh, it's when chromosome 7 loses an end piece, the result in Williams, it results in Williams syndrome. And if you look at all these children, uh, they are unrelated, but they do have the same appearance and, and health and behavioral problems. So all these children in this photograph here are unrelated, but they do have, uh, they do look like they are definitely uh, members of the same family. Uh, Williams syndrome is that deletion of chromosome 7, and here you can see where the H at the end of the chromosome is being lost. Another type, uh, translocation, uh, is when chromosomes 2 and 20 will exchange segments. And basically what happens is this will lead, leads to a uh, syndrome called allergial syndrome with uh, giving the person with this translocated uh, chromosomes between 2 and 20 exchanged, it results in uh, distinct facial features and sometimes uh, can cause disrupts on the allele of chromosome 20. So here you can see distinct facial features there. Uh, Cretu cat uh, is a deletion of chromosome number 5. Uh, basically, in Cretu cat syndrome, uh, is seen when chromosome 5 is missing an end piece. The affected individual does have a small head, is mentally retarded, and has facial abnormalities. Uh, but what really gives its distinct name of this disorder is that the, the glottis and the larynx uh, have abnormal development. So when the infant cries, it resembles that of a cat cry. Um, in Fragile X syndrome, another disorder, uh, Basically, you have the normal chromosome, and then you get that one repeat or three repeats. Uh, that would be uh, a, a disorder there. Oops, let me go back there a minute. And basically, uh, what you could see here with Fragile X Syndrome is uh, distinct facial features there uh, among the young men in the picture. So these are some chromosomal abnormalities. It, it, it's discussed in that last part of Chapter 10, and I want you to know this before we actually dive into Mendelian genetics when we start getting into uh, inheritance. Have a great day.